How you doing everybody? This is Daniel from HD Reviews and right now we're going to review another Saint Seiya figure. And here in front of us we have a bronze saint. And this is the Saint Seiya Mixed Cloth. And this is Unicorn Jabu. Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you everybody's enjoying their day. So we're going to review another Saint Seiya figure. I got a lot of hate on the other review. Well some of you, most of you agreed. But some of you did told me I was pretty harsh with that figure. But oh well, this is the new figure. We are going to review Jabu of Unicorn. So here we have in front of us the box. This is a 2005, believe it or not, 2005 figure. So it's seven years old. This was made by Bandai. As you see, you have the figure itself on the front, and you have the animated picture of the figure from the series. As you turn around, this is a book style kind of package. On the top is a Saint Cloth Myth. On the bottom it says Unicorn Cloth. And on the back, you see him with his cloth, his object mode, you know, different faces. You know, uh, it shows him here like when he's fighting in the Galactic Tournament. Which is when we saw most of this uh, character the most. If you open the package, if we do like this. You see that on the top, I don't know if you can see it clearly, on the top it says Bronze Saint, on the bottom it says Jabu, and on the left side we have two side of window type kind of packages, and we have on the left side the figure, on the right side all is armor parts. So that's it for the box, let's look at the package inside. So here we have Buster number one, and as you can see we have the figure itself, we have uh, legs, and part of the arms and that's it and the helmet and some hairs and that's it for this buster let's go with buster number two buster number two it's very uh plain we have the skeleton of the object mode we have four hands plus the ones he has on so it's a total of three pairs we have shoulders chest and the bottom part and that's it let's go with the instruction manual so here we have the instruction manual. As you can see, a very nice color, purple with some uh, gray, and we have a unicorn symbol in the middle. It says "Made in China, 2005." As you open it, we have the figure itself and the object mode, and then it shows you um, the age and a little profile. And these are all the states that were out in 2005, so it's not a lot. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to know, you have the instructions over here of the figure and this is how to build the figure which is easy as cake as you can see and how to build the object mode and that's easy and that's it that's all you're getting for the instruction manual let's see uh, the object mode and see how it looks So here we have Unicorn Jabu, and I have to say, mm, I did not expect much for a 2005 figure. I did not. Um, the likeness is very good. Um, if you see the picture right here of Jabu, it almost resembles that kind of tone over here. Over here, the figure is a little bit more lighter, and this one is a little bit more, uh, 
more uh, tone kind of this tone right here kind of this tone so uh, yeah but only thing I did have a problem with you see this right here and you see that right there yeah they're not proportionate it, it, it if they're advertising something not like that on the prototype it's very different on the legs so let's look at this figure's legs right here if you look at the legs um, this thing falls off like that and it stops right there so it doesn't look like the prototype at all you know um, the feet you know are very loose and this is a problem they had for 2005 figures they are very loose good thing is this is not heavy because then we would have a problem uh, the knees are a little bit um, loose as well but because this one doesn't have a lot of armor it does have a lot of circulation and because he's not that heavy you could probably put him in some good poses uh, the head mechanism is pretty good because you could take it off you know it doesn't have like a peg or anything like that and you could switch hairs the same way you just take this off and then put new hairs on it like as you could see right here the hair you could just plaster it in there and that's it you know it's got it has you have to maneuver it for it to look decent but it looks okay I think this figure the likeness of this figure is okay uh, I don't think it's the greatest in the world but I think it's okay um, I, I really like that swapping of the hair if it works wow wow it just came off well when it works when it works it's pretty good wow but yeah this figure the, the only thing I have against it like you see the likeness is pretty good likeness is pretty good on the figure only thing I have against it is that the ankles are not stable and it doesn't look like the box I mean they promise you that the uh, that's, that's the thing with Bandai they promise you something good and then uh, when you actually get it it's not you know the the legs I have a lot of problems with the legs as you could see I, I cannot even balance it the ankles are just very loose and you know as expected for a 2005 figure I was expecting the ankles to be loose but I didn't think to be that loose uh, Hydra had this problem as well so um, it's not just this figure it's the other bronze saints figure as well so if we look what's metal what's plastic well the head is plastic shoulders are metal with plastic the chest piece is plastic uh, the front part of the waist is plastic with the rest is metal and then we have the arms is metal and all the feet or legs or dike is metal so that's it let's go with my final thoughts So here we have my final thoughts of the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth Unicorn Javu made by Bandai in 2005 and I have to say I wasn't expecting much I was not and because it was a 2005 figure and that's what happened it, the ankles are very loose the legs are very not you know they, they don't fit like they fit on the prototype and it has a lot of bad issues with the ankles they just move like crazy the ankles is the one that breaks this figure but for a 2000 figure this figure looks like the actual character almost so I'm very satisfied with the likeness and the armor looks beautiful the armor is fantastic so overall this figure is good I'm glad about it and that's why it's cheap uh, this figure is pretty cheap if you find it and it does have some issues but remember this is a 2005 figure so I forgive it for a lot of things. I don't forgive like uh, leg issues or some, something like that. Excuse me. If it's like in today's day and age this, they made this figure. That, that There's no excuse of not likeness and something. But 2005 figure, this figure looks like the actual character almost. That it's very, very nice. So overall, I have to give this figure an 8 out of 10. It's a good figure. You're going to have problems with stabilization. But... If you put them on a base or something like that, or you just keep them in one pose, you'll be fine. So you could get this in iShop to go. The link is gonna be in the on the bar. They are the ones that supplied me with this figure, and I thank you very much. iShop to go. Check iShop to, to go out. They have a lot of Saint Seiya figures and even more like Common Rider 
and Gundams and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you liked this review. This has been Daniel from H3 Reviews and I'll see you on the next Saint Seiya review.